In this video, I am going to show you how to submit your 3D object you have created using Tinkercad to the Library 3D Printing Center. So here you can see I have my Tinkercad object I've created, already uploaded. But before I actually submit, I like to always double check and make sure that everything is within the work plane. So I will make sure that nothing is coming through to the bottom and nothing is. And next, I like to double check and make sure that everything is grouped together. And it is because this box right here is not highlighted. Now, you want to open up your My Red Dragon and log in. As you can see, I have My Red Dragon pulled up. I'm logged in. At the top, the third one in, click on Library. Once this loads, you are going to want to scroll down and look on the left-hand side for Imagination Center Guide. Once that loads, you are now at the Makerspace Guide, and in the blue tabs should be the second one, and you want to click on 3D Printing. And here you can see we have the online form to submit 3D printing request. Click on that. What will load is the actual form, the 3D printing form, and you should see SUNY Cortland at the top. And it will already load your name and C number along with your email. What you want to do is scroll down to the bottom. And you're going to have to check and fill out a few things. Here for this project, we are going to say that this is a class project, as it is. And the due date we are selecting is October 9th. 2019 and for project description my object is in the shape of New York State and it is a keychain so I will type in New York State keychain because I would like to actually paint my object for the color selection I am going to select white and they give you an option for an alternate color. I'm going to go with red. Now over here you can see that there are four box that, boxes that you will need to check. And I will show you how to do the first two. It's making sure that your object is in STL format. Go back over to your Tinkercad page and you want to select the right hand top corner, you will see export. Click on export and the box you're going to want to check is STL. Now down here you can see that my object has downloaded to my computer. So we can go back over to the form and select that. Now the size, we want to make sure that it is less than 10 by 10 inches. So go back over there and towards the right hand bottom corner of the work plane, you'll see edit grid. Click on that. Mine is actually in millimeters, the units here. I'm going to change that to inches so that I can make sure. Upgrade grid and to see the size, I click on the image and it says that it is two and a quarter by two and a half inches. So I am good there. I can select that box and because I'm totally fine with my object being resized and I know that it requires limited support, I will check those too. The next step is, is to choose my file, click on that and here it is near keychain TMR. The last step you will want to do is actually submit the form. Click that button right there and you are all set.